Good morning. My room's a mess, but I'm gonna, since y'all are friends, so I'm not gonna make a big issue of it. Uh, I just thought I would share what I have on today. Uh, I don't, let's see, what was my mood? I'm cold and I wanted something warm and comfy. So this is this 525 America sweater. I think it's losing its shape. I think it's getting boxier. I bet it's eight years old. This is an American Eagle tank top. It's got lace. I thought it's cute having the lace poke out from the bottom of my sweater. These are American Eagle jeans. I think they're the artist flare. I don't know what y'all can see because I can't, I can't see. Uh, I got a coffee buzz. That's what's wrong with me. Um, I don't know what you can see. I guess we could do some jujitsu or whatever. I just do a. All right, so it's got a flare, and then these are my old green go boots. I cannot see. I don't mean to be stupid looking. I know it's not much different than usual. Anyway, old green go boots, American Eagle artist flare. Get my zipper flat so I don't look like. I just got through with a quickie, <clears throat> which I did not. Pat's gone to work. Uh, so there you go. Uh, there's my makeup I have on my Gucci Bees. Uh, this has a neck like this, and it pushes my waddle up, and it makes it look creepy. So I put this down. So. It looks like a mock turtle or whatever, so I don't look like a... So it doesn't push on my crepies and show my crepies, you know what I mean? I have on my... I think I got too much glue because my eyelid keeps sticking to my lashes. But anyway, today I did something different. I curled my uh, eyelashes before I put on my lashes, so it's making them stick up. Yeah, and my eyelids stick into my lash line so we got that going for us uh i'm still wearing this you know how i keep saying sketch blush here it is right here it's 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 in this little tent there we go it's got a magnet it was one of the pro pop uh thingies refill thingies anyway it's a blush and i use that as eyeshadow and this is the pluminette lipstick i have it on my lips and my cheeks Somebody asked who Heather is. Heather is one of my followers. You would think she was a relative, but she's she's not just, but she's a follower, a subscriber, and we met through my YouTube channel. And she's the beautiful blonde in the little, whatever those little pictures are. The avatars, uh, they're not avatars because they're really them. Uh, little thumbnail. Anyway, her little picture is her little image by her name beguile me you'll see her and she's really that pretty she didn't take you know i don't know because never met her in person but i'm thinking she's just that beautiful anyway um that's who heather is every time i say thank you heather heather gave me this also lords gives me a lot of stuff and she's also in the uh comments these these are people that I just met through uh through my comments that have been very kind to me and helped me out have encouraged me in my YouTube journey and I appreciate all of you because all of you are so fun and so sweet and genuine you're not uh very seldom do I ever get a a catty remark and um, sometimes whoever does put a caddy remark in thinks twice about it and goes back and takes it down. <laughs> the ones that don't uh, aren't sorry and do it on purpose, they disappear because I block them. And it will, and it will not have been the first nasty comment. And, and they don't mean it to help me with my channel. They, they do it because they... Uh, just genuinely do not like me and want to hurt my feelings. Um, 
Anyway, I, ooh, let's do some. Here's some ob ob obnoxious, let's do obnoxious uh, fragrance today. This is an angel sample. I have the muse, but I think the angel is even more obnoxious. Yeah. Usually you need about 10 squirts of that. <laughs> I think I breathed it. Anyway, um, we're going out to the car now. I'm going to uh, fix another latte because I think I need another one. I'm not stumbling around. I haven't run into any of the um, door frames yet. I usually do that when I get too buzzed. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the car. Good morning. We're on our way to uh, to the Medi Spa. It is 29 degrees. Hey, hey. It's 29 degrees. I oh, know. Oh. Pinned in my seat belt. I have on an old leather jacket. Passenger restraint system. It's because my pocket looks so heavy it thinks it's a child over there in my... There. Now my seat, my... Now my purse book has its uh, seat belt on. I used the Is Clinical today. Hydracool. I had a question, do I wear uh, can, uh, primer underneath my eyes? I do not wear primer under my eyes. I've been using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I don't know what it is about that particular uh, concealer, but at a distance, it does not make my eyes look crepey. I'm sure that if I stared at my under eyes with my magnifying mirror, what time is it? 7.48, wow. up early this morning I'm sure that if I stared at my under eyes with a magnifying mirror I could see crepiness I said it with the uh, well people bio brightener why just just because you girls send me so much uh, so many products a couple Christmases ago I asked y'all to stop sending me stuff I felt guilty for y'all spending your money so I'm just I just you know cycle through the stuff and I, I like all of it all the stuff that I use if I don't like it I tell you so that you don't go buy it so no I don't use a primer under my eyes I'm using Maybelline instant age rewind I, I don't know why uh, I feel like it doesn't get crepey under my eyes I don't moisturize under my eyes I moisturize up to here with whatever I'm moisturizing with at night and I'm I'm guessing it moves in I haven't had much luck with eye creams eye cream specifics I feel like they really migrate like super de duper de migrate even when I just put it on don't put it inside the occipital bone I'll have to experiment some more with that I was uh, I think I've been successful with an eye cream if I put it on my occipital bone and then when I feel it creeping into my eyes, I go and pat it down with a damp washcloth to get rid of it. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know. I have a pro My eyes are dry. So, yeah, I don't put moisturizer under my eyes at night or in during the day. I do not put primer under my eyes. And I do set under my eyes with... I did use the Bio Brightener this morning. I used the Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Mono Cream Eye Color in Nude as my eyeshadow primer today. I used the Sketch, I don't know, I'm just stuck on that right now. I, I'll try to do something different next time I see you, but I'm still using the Sketch uh, in my crease 
top of uh, top of my lash line underneath and the night moth lip liner as my eyeliner on top of my lashes on my tight line and under my bottom lashes and using the nude liner from you shut up the nude liner from Makeup Geek on my waterline. And I think Tarte has a nude liner. It, I can't remember what. Fake Awake, maybe is what it's called. That's probably what I'll be up by next time. Somebody told me that they bought the NYX nude liner, and I think she bought it in white. I think she bought it in white, and she had two complaints. It was too bright, and it was too creamy, and it got in her eyelashes. You can fix that. Just go back with a spoolie and brush it out, or your mascara and brush it out. Or don't put as much on and kind of move I don't know you know like lipstick if a, if a lipstick's too much you just dot it on and then buff it in with your finger that's what I did with uh, the Pluminette this morning I wanted something not so much I know it looks good doesn't it I'll show y'all how I did that in a video coming up ask remind me though how I did this look this lip look it's really different I like it I like it like that. Uh, I have Pluminette on my cheeks. I have morning coffee. No, not morning coffee. But first coffee. Morning coffee is like a lip liner by MAC. But first coffee is a blush. A dark, a real dark blush by um, Bare Minerals. And I have it on as my contour bronzer all over all over my body and I used the Casey Holmes highlighter and I used the the lightest one the uh, I have a new not like don't like it's the lightest one to the left it's like the it's not even sh champagne I, I guess it's vanilla colored I use that as my highlight. I do not like that color highlight. I like a pink highlight up here on the top of my cheeks. So I went back over it with blush and foundation. It's still, it, it, it gives you a, it gives me, I think it gives me an ashy cast. <laughs> Say that three times. Ashy cast, ashy cast, and then that. I like it on the end of my nose. I have, I think I have on, there's some buzzards up there in the top of the tree. Up oh, the, the deer is still being picked upon. I bet he's ripe right about. Oh, wow. I won't share that with y'all. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I think I'm using a Clinique mask. I don't know what kind of mascara I used. I just picked one up and used it. I tell you what, it had kind of a floral smell to it. Can you tell, can, can you know by that which one it was? It had a perfumey smell. I used that. I curled my, like I said, I curled my lashes this morning before I put on my Red Cherry 43s. It was a little more challenging to get Kama Sutra with your eyelashes. It's like, can't get there from here. Kind of had to go over the river and through the woods to get the lashes behind the curl. But it's a different look. The uh, lashes are more upright. Billion dollar brow. No, that is a lie. Here it is. It's not even 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm already lying to you guys. <sighs> Kat Von D light brown uh, brow powder. Okay, something I must uh, warn you about with the brow powder. That particular one from Kat Von D, it has sparkles in it. I know. Let's see if you hate it or love it. I, I happen to not mind sparkly brows. So I watched a good video this morning 
we'll get back to the makeup in a minute. Shoot, what is her name? Kate the Great Beauty. Kate the Great. And she had Michelle Wang on there with her. Michelle Wang is very deadpan. I think I think if I would give her a chance I could I could like her. Anyway, they were saying uh, they had unpop giving their unpopular opinions. Turns out I agreed with Michelle Wang on a whole lot of stuff. Of course, except injectables. I beg your pardon. She does not think, she does not like the way people look that have injectables, and she does not think that she will ever partake. Your loss. Anyway, not everybody goes for that fake, look, you know, plastic look. It's a look, you know. Wow, that color of the sun's making my hair look red, right? Anyway, I do like the lip plastic. Uh, let's go back to the makeup. Okay, so I used the Is Clinical, the Tatcha Primer, and the Born This Way Foundation. Those have been my three favorite layers late, lately. Is Clinical Hydrocool. If you have a spa or somewhere you go to that sells that, see if you can get a sample of that. That's, that's awesome. And I pile it in these places where I'm foldy. Like, if I were to get filler, I'd want it plumped out so it wouldn't be foldy. I don't know that it helps any. But anyway, I put it all over my face, but I make sure that it's concentrated like there. And then the Tatcha Primer. And then the uh, Born This Way Beauty Blender Damp. You know, I, I squish it under the faucet. Squishy, 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 squeeze. And and I leave it a little uh, lately because it's we're running the heat. Uh, I'm leaving it a little more damp because, and I think the Born This Way. It's, you know, it's not a serum foundation. It's, even it can be cakey looking on me during this time of year. Um, I find that the damp, damper sponge is advantageous when spreading it. And I just keep going. I just, even after you think you're done, just keep, oh, unless it starts feeling like it's sticking to your face, then you're pulling it back off again. All right, so that that's something I'm doing with, now that my face is feeling drier, I'm, those are my three favorite fla flavors, layers, uh, is Clinical Hydrocool Serum, the Tatcha Primer, and the Born This Way Foundation, and I'm using the color Seashell. Uh, what am I doing with that color? Uh, why do I have that color? I recommended that they go to the, I told them that that was like one of my favorite, I asked them what kind of coverage do you like, and, I, and from what they described, I told them that that would be a good one, but not to go to, oh, okay, what else did I say? Oh, the other one I said is Beyond Perfecting from Clinique. I feel, I feel like those two foundations are very similar. I don't know, what do you think? Anyway, the, you know, the one that you put on with the doe foot applicator from Clinique. And I said, and I highly recommend, since you don't know what you're looking for, and you don't feel confident in your makeup shade, go to the department store, not Ulta, to get them to help you pick out your foundation. I, now, some of the girls at Ulta could be well-trained, and and know exactly what they're doing but many are just young girls who just get thrown in there sink or swim anyway so she came out with this foundation uh, the seashell and it it looked like on her skin tone it looked like Pepto-Bismol I can see that can't you 
how it could be Pepto-Bismol and somebody else. And she's acne. She was acneic. Is that the word? <laughs> well, if it's not, it should be. And uh, so I think she does, does things to her face that cause it to be parched and scaly. Anyway, it was just a really bad look. Anyway, I did a makeover on her for a for a photo shoot, and we traded. She gave me the bottle of foundation and. I gave her a makeover with airbrush and lashes and, you know, the works. So there you have it. That's how I ended up with this foundation. Fun I'm doing. I'm taking, um, you know how when they do cut crease, they take a brush and they lay on, after they've put their, make, their eye, eyeshadow on, basically, they go back and they meaning Samantha Ravindahl. Just whoever does a cut crease. Crispy, Desi, whoever, I don't know who does one. Uh, Manny. All right, you know how they do that and they take a, like a concealer brush and they lay it on thick and do a really sharp line and cover the part of the moving lid to make the crease look cut instead of cutting in the brows or cutting in the crease. All right, so I'm taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and a little sponge and dotting it on my lid and taking my finger and patting it out. Okay, the camera cooled off now. Uh, so what were we talking about? Uh, the nude eyeliner on my waterline. Don't know what the mascara is. Oh, uh, using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the center of my lid. And it just gives it a, a real soft, diffused look on your lid. It didn't do it as well today. Some days it does better. I have the Benefit 24-hour brow set banged my knuckle and it's skint. Uh, I used the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit in my brows on top of the Kat Von D uh, light brown brow powder and I used a I believe it was a Wayne Goss brush to apply that brow powder. Uh, I powdered the center of my face with the NW22 Studio Fix from MAC. It's a powder foundation and a compact just to give me a perfected look in the center. I went back with my Beauty Blender and sprayed it with the Tony Molly Luminescence Perfume Face Spray. I don't know why anybody would put perfume in a face spray. Well, I don't know. Uh, Urban Decay put cough syrup in theirs. Anyway. And then I dot over the places that I definitely don't want to be matte. Like my cheekbones and above my brows. On my, just whatever this bone is. It sticks up over your brows brow bone just to bring down some of the powdery look wow that was a full head fling from that kid he has the swoopy bangs you remember that for any of you who had sons like do you remember when your sons went through that stage where they had the, the swoopy bangs and they'd always be it looked like he had a dog shaking his head because he had ear mites in the car <laughs> maybe the kid has ear mites that's what it is she was stopped and told him flush his ears out and he'll quit shaking his head like that actually he was fixing his hair I could see him looking in the side mirror to get his swoopy bangs perfect those were the days those were the days when all I had to put up with was uh, the, the constant hair head fling to get the swoopy bangs right Let's not get on the subject of kids. 
being OCD and, and a mom, I don't know that I'm OCD. Never been diagnosed. A control freak. I am that. I can tell you I'm a control freak. Being a control freak and a mom or a parent, just two things that just really don't go well together. They make me crazy and I make them crazy. That possum had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he had irritable bowel. What did I put on my brow bone today? Oh, oh, something else. Uh, somebody was asking, right now I'm finding the Sigma brush. Of course, I haven't bought a Sigma brush in a while. Oh, good grief. Light shining over my head is not helping. Um, I used some Sigma goat hair brush, white hair brushes. Anyway, what made me think of, no, Morphe. I have a new Morphe uh, goat hair brush that I bought at Ulta. And I did, I'm doing something new. You know that chubby stick by Clinique that's a curvy contour, like 01, that you put it on and, you know, you try to melt, blend it, blendy, blendy, and it just blends away every damn time, no matter what I do to it. Okay. Well, I'm using that on my brow bone because it's really subtle as a transition color with my sketch. Okay, so I'm using like three things on, four things on my lids that don't go on your lids that weren't made for that. I'm using a lip liner as my eyeliner. I'm using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind as a center of the eye highlight. I'm using the Sketch Blush as my, you know, crease color and to buff out, you know, to smoke out my liner. Um, what else am I using that I'm not supposed to use up there? Oh, and then the Curvy Contour is my transitional shade on my brow bone or whatever just to warm up my brow bone a little bit. And I'm trying to think what, I may have put a hot, the highlighter, the Casey Holmes highlight under my brow, brow brow, the brow hairs. The traffic this morning has just been, how long, it's, it's taken me 25 minutes to go eight miles. Freaking garbage truck. They should do that in the middle of the night when people aren't trying to get to work. <laughs> that was insensitive, right? Sorry. Sorry about that. So, uh, Dr. Williams is doing a neck lift this morning. He's doing it in the office. Under local. She did one last week, too. She does good neck lifts, uh, since you ask. I have a, uh, I used to have a friend. <laughs> we didn't have a fight and break up or anything. We just, our lives have just taken us in separate directions. What are you doing? Oh, for heaven's sake. Now I'm out here. Our lives have taken us in separate directions, so I don't, I haven't talked to her probably over a year or more. Yeah, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, when we met, I told her about who I went to. She started getting Botox and filler and reconstruction on her breasts, uh, tummy tuck, and her mom got a neck lift. So, she, she, anybody who meets Dr. Williams and sees her work or, or has a friend that Dr. Williams has done something on. You know, you know how girls are. They sh they should show and share everything. Anybody that knows her or has seen her work wants to get something done. So back to the necklace. She's doing another necklace today. Now's the time. Now's the time. While it's cold and you got a lot of clothes on to get your cool sculpting. And I bet y'all are wondering how my arms are doing. I will show them to you next time I'm in a position to. You better slow yourself down, 
Mr. Speedy rushing up to that stop sign like he's going to blow through it. Next time I'm in a situation where I can show you my arms, I'll show them to you. Big, huge difference. I know, without going under, you know, without surgery. No downtime. You can get off the table after cool sculpt and go straight to the gym. Does it hurt, the cool sculpt? Um, it's, it's not, it doesn't, it, it's not, uh, it's not an experience where you go, oh, that feels good. That's for sure. It doesn't feel good. Let's just put it that way. And afterwards, you feel like you got nookied real good. Um, and there could be some bruising. I don't bruise very easy. But you could bruise. I had a little discoloration. But not much. And it was a little tender and it you know, it felt like it had some heat in it and there was a little bit of swelling. It look, uh, I'd say day, day three or four, it looks worse than it did before. It's because it fills up with fluid. It doesn't fill up, but it, it's got fluid on it. And it hangs a little heavier. And then it, you know, as the, you see a pussy cat? Watching the squirrels. You be careful so you don't get hit by a car. Um, and the uh, uh, sublative, I still have grid marks on my face, but it's smoother than it was. And I'll tell you about that on the ride home because I've been using uh, Paula's Choice to help along the scaliness, the, the glycolic acid. There's my makeup. Can you see the grid marks?